I do this for my culture, penny nickels in the sofa, mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real Marfa toy, it's not three, buddy. <laughs> this for the ones that have me. My heart is still filled with some mega. I watch you pussy niggas make me a strategy. I sing a nigga. We are here, we are here. Good shot, good shot, good shot. You know the fucking vibes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm editing early. Come on, man. You know where you at, George's World Podcast. I'm just doing too much and so Come on, man. George's World. We are here, people. Come on, man. Making sure we look good. I know, man. You know the vibes, man. I do this for my culture, penny nickels in the sofa, mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Yes, it's looking good. Yes, 4K check. Yes, I'm here. Face feels like a stride, but I'm a roll. How we doing, guys? Jordan, I know. Clap, come on, man. I'm here. I know. You're like, how did he come back this quick? I didn't know. Uh, you know, I'm here, guys. Um, you've where we at? Uh, you've let me drink some water. Let me calm down. <laughs> it's early. I do this for my culture, Penny. Ladies and gentlemen, still need a battery for that. It's gonna be beeping the whole episode. Don't care. Raw and uncut, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. Jordan for episode 44, I believe. Get it out the way early. Frank won't be here. Pause. <sighs> I know, right? For those who are here for him, it's just not that time. You know what I'm saying? For those who've been thinking about your number, though, <laughs> I know, it's crazy, right? I know, like, you thought it was something, but it ain't then you was thinking, like, yeah. we don't really match. Cool, how did I get here? I know. Oh, episodes will let you know how you got here. But I'm gonna still let you know how you got here. Very simple, easy, few little things where you, I, should have went left, but you went right. You know what I mean? Things are happening. <sighs> Haven't got a haircut yet. Just want to throw that out there as well. But yeah, man. So you thought about your number. Things aren't clicking. How did you get here? Okay. Cool. You were five. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being a five. A five is, you know what I mean? We're almost at the cusp. But ah, it ain't working. You know what I'm saying? But you're a five. A five is still cool. Got room to work. To the foot, like the most Potential you could be after being a five is about a 6.5 to almost a seven. Not really a seven. You'll never really get to the seven. But anyway, let's not be all over the place right now. Um, don't forget Jones World Podcast. You know the vibes. Anyway, um, what we got? So boom, you realize you sat back. You said, hmm, I know. Like I felt like a ten. Cool. You felt like a ten. Great. Sure, man. You even ask people that you know. Hey, what am I? A ten, of course. A ten, of course. A ten. Wanted to shine so bad that I got left in the dark. So, but there was that one friend, right? Who was just honest and was just like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just from the chin up. It would just chin up. Tell me how you feel about me. Tell me, tell me. You're a five. Cool. It hurts. I know. I know. Cool. You're a five. And you said, no, I ain't a five, because nine other people said I was a ten. Crazy, and that may be true. Actually, it's true. That happened, right? When you're back against the wall, you see everybody front. And then you look at your partner. And then you realize, if I'm a ten, and I, I got a five, or under. Yeah. Five, anything under a five is a dud. It's cool to be a dud. I'm sorry, I'm looking out the window. Uh, it's okay to be a dud. Things happen, you know. Y you didn't know that your love would kind of see past certain things where it's like acne, mm, bad breath. <laughs> Generally speaking, guys, these are things where it's like mm, you wouldn't really put up with if you're at a certain level. So I don't want to be all over the place, so let's break it down. So if you're at a 10, that means it has to kind of look like a 10 in the eyes of other people in order for to get the general consensus that you're a 10, you know what I'm saying? So boom, if I look at your partner, cool, you got a five, but you're a 10. So how did the 10 get with a five? You had a kid. Focus, man. Nothing wrong with it, but comes with a little bit of more acceptance 
for your partner based on him or her taking care of your, your kid that isn't theirs. You know what I'm saying? It sounds crazy, but trust me, it's the truth. So boom, you, you got a kid. So if you were a 10, if you were a 10, your full potential would be to get another 10. You know what I'm saying? Cool, you had a kid, you get an eight. Cool, you got an eight. You got two kids. When you said that last time? You're gonna have to, you know, that's when it started making sense to other people like, oh, okay, I see now, you know what I'm saying? I talked about this before, I don't wanna go too far back. You know what I'm saying? So boom, in the eyes of others, it will make sense like, okay, cool, you got two kids. That's how he came into the picture. Or five, you know what I'm saying? So then, meanwhile, you didn't know any of this. Nobody told you. Nobody said, hey, when I have a kid, it's going to come with a certain look to where I might have to get what I could get, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? More so for women than it is for men. I don't know why it's like that. Unwritten rules, ladies and gentlemen. A guy can have 10 kids, 17 different baby moms. Cool. A woman, two baby dads, two kids. <laughs> I have no problem with it. I'm just saying for those... You know, out here shaking and moving. I don't think it's really too, you know, um, too likely that someone who thinks they're a 10 will say, oh, you know what, I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to feel like at a certain level, because that comes with a mentality. See, you could be a 10 in the face, but the, if the mentality is a 5 still, Talk to him. You, you can't be a 10. The 10 in the face don't even matter because y your level it's level, you gotta, you gotta. Let me get some water, man. I can't go. I do this from my culture, Penny. It comes with levels, right? You see the most beautiful girl in the world. You see the most handsomest man in the world. Man, it, 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 it works, right? And then they start talking and you realize they're stupid. And it's like, oh shit. Like, ah, uh, like you're so cute and stupid, but ah, no. I can't, uh, it's, just, it's not worth it. So it just brings your number down. That's just in totality though. But anyway, <laughs> boom. So if I have to accept, I mean, if you're a 10 and you got a five, but you got two kids, cool, but maybe you're not a 10 and that's all right too. And if that's the case, treat me like a king, I deserve to be paid. You're gonna accept things that you probably wouldn't be accepting of like, Let's pretend another 10 because another 10 would kind of know what to do in certain situations. So you get like a dud, right? You got like five and under, but he got money, taking care of the kids. Woman, you know, she, she cooks, she does all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Good. You know what I mean? Everything works out. Things check off on that list of life. Like, hey, you know what? I think this could work. You know what I mean? And then when you present it to the world, especially if it was at a certain level in your life and people only know you for that. I'm going to be all over the place. You're going to have to go back on some of these. But once you hit a certain level in life, and people only know you for that, one sign, one small glimpse of falling off, guess what? It's over. It's like, what? I didn't even know. And it's like, I know. Crazy, right? Like, like the most beautiful girl in the world, seven different baby dads, all that. Yikes. Wouldn't have expected that. But then... For the wolves out there, it's like, oh yeah, I got a chance because she would probably just need anything she could get. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing for like a dude. It's like, oh, I got. I mean, for a dude, like he got hella kids, and you got the house. Ah man, look at you. You didn't help this man. It's all for what it works for in the moment. You know what I'm saying? But in this day and age, 2021, it's like things you need to know. And I've said this about two years ago, and it still applies to this day. So. Like, as you get older and, and and things happen in your life, you create baggage, you know what I'm saying? And then as you get older and you're going into someone else's life, they have to kind of accept all that kind of stuff. And, and most times, like most people can't accept it. So for all the men out there who think that you're gonna find a strong, independent woman who is gonna really just take you to the next level, wrong, it's never gonna happen. Just forget about it. Clean that out your fucking head. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna throw that out there. And ladies, I'm not gonna leave you hanging, just to let you know. Again, I said this before. If you have one kid, you have the potential of finding someone other than the, the father of your child. You have the potential of finding like one, one person. You, you get the one time after, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, 
it's pretty much downhill from there. You know what I'm saying? And then for like women with two kids, your potential of finding someone and you can have two kids by the same baby dad, cool, no problem. Go lying again. It would be probably less accepted. You would, you probably would never get in a relationship again. It would never happen. And as I marked this, was this in March, May? Yeah, it's never gonna happen. You got two kids, you can forget three kids, forget about it, four kids, you're done. It's over, trust me. Just letting you know, because it's all about rankings and numbers and, and statistics. And that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm 30 and I never had to deal with a baby dad, and now I got to deal with a baby dad, mm, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Things are different because I never had to do it. But those who are a little more seasoned, a little more groomed, more like Franks, who is just out here with other people's kids and shit like that, like, yeah, all right, cool, they got experience. But at the same time, in the future, that's something that's, never mind. You guys aren't ready. All right, guys, <laughs> let me slow down. I feel like I'm rushing. I don't know. I'm excited, though. I do this from my coach, Penny. Oh, shit. But yeah. So you got to think about it in totality, right? Like, again, you're five at best because you got a five. And that's that's in totality. That's your level of life is a five. So you got a five, even in the face. You know what I'm saying? Because we were talking all the way around. Hey, got a good job, but that's, it doesn't take you to the next level just to maintain. A lot of the times we get with people just to maintain. It doesn't go to the next level. Hey, you're still dirty. Just throwing it out there. I'm a clean person. Why, if I'm clean, you can't be clean. <sighs> because I'm not, I haven't taken you to the next level. So you can see how I see it. Or I don't see it how you see it. But if we think about one or the other, you kind of got to pick and choose. And most times we don't. We kind of just let it go. We just live a lifestyle of maintaining. We don't acquire any new things. We don't think outside of the box. Everything I did last year, I want to do again this year because it was so fun last year. There's no growth. So if you get somebody who's a five in the mind, a five in the head, uh, face-wise, pause, and then uh, a five just in life, you're going to have a five life. And that's cool, too. But those who aspire to have sevens, that's even in the face. Oh, I got to wash my face more. I got to brush my teeth. All those things is to take you to the next level. So then if the mentality is next level, then it, it would look like that all the way around. All the way around. You can't go get your nails done, ladies. I know you can't go get your nails done and then your feet look crazy. Crazy. It just doesn't, it doesn't match. It doesn't make sense. And for you guys, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Guys, you can't go get a hair covered out of the lineup. Some of you do. Some of you say, hey, I don't need that. Beijing. Because I have to bring it. But I'm just trying to let you. I'm just trying to let you know. Things ain't always what it seems. Even for the tens. I'm all over the place. Even for the tens who think they're five. Your lifestyle is a five though. You haven't inspired someone to take you to the next level or you haven't been inspired yourself to go to the next level. Again, back to being in the same room. If you're the coolest person in the room, cool. Leave that room though. And then let's see what it look like over here. You know what I'm saying? Because it has to make sense. If you're the man over there, you're gonna be the man over here. Whatever you did in practice, I'm assuming you're gonna do in the game but if the level of competition is like if it's just you then i get it but if it's more than you are you still looking like you did in practice but if that's not the case what you want me to do lie to you tell you hey man you did it nah it was a rough game i know no not gonna happen can't say that i'm not gonna lie to you guys hey you didn't look like how you did and I'm under the impression that maybe people that you're practicing with is just trash. So you look good every time. But go grab somebody that's next level. If you're a five and you get a five, you stay the same. You get, you're five and you get a six, things may change. Five and you get a seven, things may change. If you have the mental ten, just think of what you can get. If I thought ten, you could be a... You can be a super five. 
You can't even, you could, you could have the potential of being a five forever. But the mentality of a 10, everything else, it's like, it's understandable. It's just like, oh man, you know, like I understand he can't get surgery for his teeth because his teeth just fucked up forever. You'll eat that because everything else looks like, you know what I'm saying? Again, man, you can't be the king in a shithole. Yes, you're still a king, but it's a shithole. Oh, man, sometimes you just gotta. I do this from my coach, Penny. Sometimes we don't realize, like, hey, it is a mentality. I have to have the the wherewithal to know that discipline, 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 guys. I don't like eating my food in the car. You know what I'm saying? I go get my food. I'm waiting until I get to the house. If I didn't take a shower yet, ah. I'm gonna go take a shower before I eat. Food is cold. I have no preference on if it's hot or cold. I just, it's food. I'm going to eat it. You know what I'm saying? So, I, my bad, but guys, the allergies are popping right now. But I always say, if I take a shower before I go get the food, then I'm cool. Sometimes I don't, I forget, I get it. I go lying again, don't know why I But I was still waiting until I took a shower. That's discipline. I have to say, despite how hungry I am, despite how stupid I'm gonna feel, talk to him. I'm gonna do it because you gotta have rules for yourself. You have to have a certain, come on, come. level. Yes, yes. You have to have a certain level expectation. You have to say, hey, you know what? It's like this, 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 this. And if it ain't that then you gotta do this, 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 this. You feel me? It, it, it's like, like I said, I don't know why, I think it's a fly here, but it is. But I don't know why I have a thing when like somebody try to like tell me how it's gonna be. Well, you gonna tell me what it is. No, no, no. For me, my skin starts, I, I start turning, turning into like some shiny, I don't know what I was gonna say, but I'm gonna turn into that fucking Incredible Hulk. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Cause I hate that shit. It's like, come on, man. You ain't gotta do that with me. Hey, ask me. Uh, I may say yes, I may say no. But it's a certain type of way you gotta do it. It's all on, like, if somebody breath snake and I'm like, Hey, yo, my man, your breath smell hella bad, man. You don't, you don't have to go ahead and change that. They might look at that like, mm, what you trying to say? Your breath stinks. And it's like, no, I'm really trying to tell you this, like, to help you. Not so you think you can help me, but, like, why didn't you think to help? Anyway, but I'm trying to help you. But you, the way I said it came off like, ah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all about that too. Like, hey, man, just watch who you're talking to. Like, I don't like that kind of stuff. So a level of expectation. Okay, so I, I like to think that I'm a gentleman. Talk to me like a gentleman. Or like a lady or an adult. I'm not okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's a certain way that I go into things like, hmm, let me say, hey, whatever, whatever. And then you kind of, whatever, whatever. And it's like, all right, cool. But if I, uh, whatever, 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 uh, no, I gotta run. I gotta go that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gotta get away. Guys, it's all about protecting your energy. And if your energy is messed up, so, so cool, you're on this level. Once your energy get messed up, we don't know where you're at really now. Any any move that you make in between your energy being off and where you're trying to go, things are gonna go away. I know. And you're gonna be like, ha, it's like I was having such a good day and then all of a sudden, I know that energy got changed. So wherever, whatever plans you had, whatever your next move was, it ain't even gonna happen now because you're all on something else. You know what I'm saying? And no different than watch how I do this. So then, it's like, you was popping, you know what I'm saying? Before you had a kid, then you had a kid and it kind of just like shook things for you. You know what I'm saying? That kind of like changed how you looked at things just based on like your experiences and stuff like that. It's like, hmm, I could be this way and be like that, but you know the difference between the two, you know what I'm saying? So now, crazy. I forgot what I was talking about. Damn, that was crazy. I don't know, somebody started walking by and I got confused. But uh, anyway, I don't know what I was talking about. That's crazy. 
right, so boom, if you have a kid, right, and your mind was like, I'm going to go to college, I'm going to get a job, I'm going to figure out my life, I'm going to get married, and then I'm going to have kids and all that, then boom, get a curveball, ah, have a kid. Your energy is completely thrown off. Whatever energy you have for those goals and those aspirations, all that changes because you have a new responsibility. You have a new responsibility. Your problems are no longer your problems. You have to deal with your kids' problems now. That's it. Main priority. And your partner if you guys are still together. But if we just go take it away, you're not together. Your whole energy towards a relationship, your whole energy towards getting a new job, your whole energy towards living your life is completely different just off of this one thing. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> just imagine having a bad relationship, right? You could have been a 10. And based off of that bad relationship, you, you stop washing your face. You stop brushing your teeth. I don't know. You let your hair on your fucking armpits grow out. I know. You let you do, you just start doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool, but we don't know. We don't Unless you're wearing your history on your face, we are just to assume whatever we are to assume. So if you was at a certain level back in the day, I mean, your energy got clipped by bad experiences or life, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It then would now have to be explained on your face. And if you haven't maintained the certain level that you were at, at that point, it's going to look like you fell off. And on based off of the fall off, would then explain how you ended up with a five. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? from my culture, Penny Nichols and. So, yes, bad energy. He was a 10. But since you got thrown off, you got clipped by a five. This guy's been working with you for five years. Y'all been, been bagging up groceries for five years. You finally give him a chance. Because at 25, you thought you were going to get married. You ain't even talking to nobody. But you work where you work. There's a few guys looking around. Ah, pick a litter now. Not really, but this is what you got. In which, after that first kiss, this is who you got, man. You know what I'm saying? And those who don't have kids, if you do get into a relationship, you got like... You gotta be like, hey man, how many how many real relationships you been in? And you go, oh, really like three, but like I was like with someone for like off and on, to like a guy is like, I need to run. Didn't think that was gonna happen, but yes, don't say nothing, ladies. I'm here to help you too. Don't say nothing. Don't mention it. Keep it at two, two real ones, and just make up make the years back to back. Makes it easy. Guys don't want to hear five different relationships. You ain't even got no kid. What's wrong with you? Things ain't, well, I'm not going to say that because then I don't really know the YouTube parameters. But things ain't clicking downstairs either. You got to admit that as well. Hey, man, just ain't got it. Never mind. But anyway, when that energy gets clear, any decision is made, it's based off of the frequency just being off. You know what I'm saying? You were here now. I Real quick, yeah, low level now. It still works. Hey, got a beater or controller on your side just to, hey, got to see if it works. Because the battery just saying, you're never going to get batteries for that. Because it's like, I don't even go to the store for batteries. So when am I going to get batteries again? No, you just keep beating the controller and it's like, ah, it's, it's going to work. And then that's how you go through life. Like, oh, you get your nails done one time, cool, but you forget, you never get your feet done. It's halfway, you were here, you always did both. The discipline, I saved my money for this. Skip next month, now I got both. And then in that moment, ah, I'm complete. I got the hairline and a haircut. Man, I'm gonna kill them tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? That's how, the, it's just when you, when you do things for yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's self-preservation is all that. You know what I'm saying? It's not to always get into a relationship. It's not always to, to have things to hinder you from relationships. You just have to think about it on the on the grand scheme of things. Family few. If I ask 100 people, what are they saying? You know what I'm saying? So if the one out of the nine, I mean one out of the 10, said it was a five, and they're not hating, they just being objective. Very objective. Hey, I just want to see what's going on. And if that's the case, 
Look at your partner. When you said that last time? Hey, man, it is what it is at that point. Accept it. Figure out how to go to the next level and help your partner get to the next level. They don't have to stay a five for the rest of their lives. Hey, man, buy a shirt. <laughs> Wear the color yellow. I don't know. Make it up. Just inspire others. If, if you're... If you're in life right now and you're not inspired by anything, I love you from a distance. but you're listening to me and I'm telling you how to be inspired and what to be inspired of. Ian messed that up. Mm -hmm. You just gotta do it, man. You gotta figure it out. Time waits for nobody. I asked somebody the other day, hey man, you gotta watch. He said, no, I said, you ain't got time now. You don't even know what time it is right now. You don't even know how long you've been here. You don't even know what you're doing. You ain't got time for that, bro. Figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You got to know. Because if you don't know, things ain't clicking. And I feel like the next episode, like, I'm going to go, like, a little deeper pause into, like, some other things. But I just want to keep these things going and shaking and moving. So, but, cool. You're five. Your partner's a five. You, don't, you realize, like, oh, okay, cool. Maybe it was the kids. Maybe it was my attitude. Maybe it was whatever, whatever, whatever. But all those things, if you if you just sit back and you look around, all that contributes to the number you have in totality. Like all the way around. From the chin up reflects everything around you. You know what I'm saying? A certain level. You know what I mean? So if it don't even let you take care of this, what I see on the on the first go around, I don't even know you. You got a bug in your nose? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> whoa. But maybe you're not on that. And that's cool too. Yeah, I go lying again. Don't know why I pretend. Hold up. But then again, no. It's not cool. You shouldn't be walking around with a book in your nose. What are you doing? But I wish I had more time, but I don't. But we just gotta think about it. Like, if if I'm the best me today, and someone could say I'm a five. But I think I'm a ten. I just gotta sit back and say, hey, it's everything I'm doing in life as far as, like I really make sure my shoes is tied. Those are 10. That bow was neat, you know what I'm saying? That's a 10. So when I brush my teeth, did I really do it how it's supposed to be done? You know what I'm saying? Did I, when I wash my face, did I, did I give it the 10 wash? You know what I'm saying? If you're not applying the high number in everything, it's certain things that's gonna be like, oh, it ain't adding up. Because if you did 10 things out of 10, that's 100. You forgot to brush your teeth. So you got no points for that. So now I, I look at now my number that I have for you. If it ain't at least 20 away from where I think I am, I just need to tighten up a little bit. Hey man, you was in a rush, didn't brush your teeth all the way. But you brush. Just forgot the mouthwash. I get it. So, you're at like 85. If you feel you're a 10. And if you feel like you're a 60, maybe you feel like you're a 6, and you apply 6s to everything, you do the math. 60. See? <laughs> Simple, man. It's numbers and statistics, but, and statistics, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> think about it that way. Am I, whatever I rate myself, is that in totality of where I apply everything? This a 10, this a 10, this a 10, or it's just this a 10, or just this a 10, or just this a 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm trying to, for females in there, I'm... Anyway, man, Jones World Podcast, guys, just figure that out. The next episode, we're going to chop it down. I don't know what that was, but... Tired anyway, Jordan's World episode 44, I believe, or 45. I don't know, you'll know because you're gonna see it after the last one. Hold on, man. Jordan's World podcast, man, you know the vibes. Coach a penny, nickels in the sofa, mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real Marfa toy, it's not three, buddy. <laughs>